What is going on, Summoners? We're back here today with another Champion Deep Dive. Today, we're talking about Prowler. So, sit back and relax, because it's time to get into it. Prowler enters the contest with custom-made flak armor, granting him immunity to bleed and incinerate effects. It also increases his block proficiency during the opponent's special attacks. Prowler is unyielding and unrelenting, making him immune to falter and granting him 115% ability accuracy. Also, he doesn't benefit from the Collar Tech Mastery. Instead, he gains additional critical damage rating for each rank invested. And each time he would land a critical hit, he instead inflicts a rupture passive, dealing the critical damage the hit would have dealt over one second. Now, his medium attacks are non-contact pneumatic blasts that can't be evaded. His second medium inflicts a falter passive for three seconds, which is paused during his special attacks. This can't be inflicted if the opponent is already faltered, and while it's active, the opponent acts more aggressive. Also, if it causes a miss, it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. Additionally, he inflicts a falter passive for one second if his special attacks would be punished. Now, after the opponent activates a special attack, he power drains their remaining power and inflicts a power lock passive, lasting 1.5 seconds. And for every 1.1% of the opponent's max power that is drained or burned, he gains one power creep charge, maxing out at 30 stacks. Landing a heavy attack against an opponent with zero power causes the final four hits to inflict a non-stacking incinerate debuff for 20 seconds. And if a personal rupture expires on an incinerated opponent, it explodes, dealing a burst of physical damage. Now, let's check out his special attacks. On his special activation, each power creep charge is converted into a fury passive for 10 seconds, paused during special attacks. And on activation of his special one, he gains a pursuit passive for 30 seconds. While this is active, the opponent cannot evade his attacks. Also, this attack does not grant power to the opponent, and the final hit inflicts a taunt debuff for four seconds. With the special two, the first hit refreshes and pauses all personal ruptures until the final hit of this attack, and each hit inflicts a rupture passive, lasting for one second after the attack. The Special 3! At the end of this attack, the opponent is granted a 100% power efficiency passive for 30 seconds. Also, Prowler ditches the niceties and overcharges his gauntlets until the end of his next special attack, granting him plus 50% combat power rate, but disabling his special 2 and 3. Additionally, while active, his power creep charges are not removed on conversion, and new fury passives do not count towards the cap of 30. Now, let's check out his signature ability. When awakened, while the opponent is faltered, Prowler gains increased critical rating, scaling with Sig level. Additionally, while Prowler has at least 30 Fury effects, his special attacks are passively unblockable. Now, let's put it all together in the Champion Rotation. To begin, you'll want to bait a couple specials to build power creep charges, so perform a medium ending combo to inflict your falter just under two bars, and launch your special one to pause it and inflict your taunt. From here, build to about 1.5 bars of power and bait another special attack to max out your charges. And while they're power locked, punish with a medium medium and heavy through your falter to inflict your incinerate. Then, before the falter expires, launch your special 2 to gain your furies, stack up ruptures, and watch the fireworks explode. Now, 
If you're up against one of those pesky evaders, keep in mind, your mediums can't be evaded, and your pursuit passive from Special 1 will prevent the opponent from evading any of your attacks. So, when you need it, keep it active. But don't be scared of those mediums if it happens to fall off. And hey, if you need some extra juice, you can launch your Special 3 to overcharge your gauntlets and build to three bars of power. And once you're ready for the finale, bait a special, then medium medium into your Special 1 directly into a heavy attack, and then finish it all off with a supercharged Special 2 with double the fury. Thank you for watching this Champion Deep Dive for Prowler. And hey, if you liked the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And remember, we'll see you in the Battle Realm!